Hi everybody. Um, I got asked by somebody to do a review of this product, which is the Barry M um, Touch of Magic Green Lipstick. And I'm going to start off by showing it to you. It's this lime green colour. As you can see. And don't worry, it doesn't come on that colour. So I'm going to put it on my lips now. Now prepare yourself for this. This is quite insane. So, it doesn't look that pigmented at the minute, but I guarantee that in a few minutes time it's going to be like bright red. <laughs> Cuz it does change to um, the pigmentation in your lips. So I think it said the alkaline, how much alkaline you've got in your lips determines how pink it goes. And this isn't going as pink as it did last night. Hmm. I don't know. Anyway, yeah, it's, um, I wouldn't actually say that it was a lipstick because um, you can't really rub it off at all. It's like more a stain, um, and I swatched it on my hand like in middle hall on Friday, and it was still there yesterday. <laughs> it's a bit weird. Um, and as you can see, the coverage, it doesn't. I, this is the reason why it's not a lipstick. It doesn't cover your lips. It just changes the colour of your lips. If that makes sense. Like, there's no finish to it at all. There's no like matte finish, satin finish, um, or anything. It's just colours your lips. Um, for me personally, I think it's too dark for me. I don't think the camera's picking up just how dark it is. Cause yesterday it was just bright red, and I was like, oh my god. Anyway, um, I do like it, but mm, my camera's going weird. Um, I do like the idea of it. I think it's really genius that it matches your skin, even though this one I don't think does match my skin, because I think. It thinks that anybody's as pale as me is blonde, which I am naturally, but I think red red lips suit people with blonde hair, and I don't know, it doesn't really suit me, especially with the pink in the front of my hair. Um, if you've got like less pigmented lips, I think that this would be a really good product for you, just to get a little bit of just natural pigmentation. Sorry about that. Um, so yeah, you can see from there, look, that it has pigmented my lips a bit more. Again, sorry about my fingernail. Um, it is getting redder. Um, so this is just the normal price of a Barry M lipstick, which is £4.25 I think it is. Um, so and another really great thing about this, that if it does go a really nice colour on you, it doesn't come off. It seriously lasts for absolutely ages, but it's a bit of a a bummer if you don't like the colour that it goes, which I don't particularly. But you know, what are you gonna do? Mm. So I don't know. What do you think? I don't. I don't mind how it looks in the camera. In real life, I don't like how it looks because it's way more red. Because my lips are already pigmented, so I think it's one that you really need to try out for yourself. I don't think anybody. <laughs> I don't think that anybody can like say that this product is amazing because it'd make people buy it and expect a certain result when they're not necessarily going to get, nobody's going to get the exact same result 
so I think it's one you definitely need to try to see if it suits you or not. Um, also I wouldn't recommend if you swatch it on your hand don't go by what colour is on your hand because the pigmentation or alkaline in your hand isn't going to be the same as on your lips so it will go a different colour. Um, because when I swatched it on my hand it went this really really nice like um, pinky, a bluish tinged pink sort of thing and I thought oh that's really nice so if that goes that colour on my lips then I'll be pleased but this doesn't on my lips anyway so yeah that's my little review I hope that satisfies everybody <laughs> um, so yeah if you want me to review anything else just let me know um, and yeah, thank you. Bye.